well, should I call it a little drama that played out um, at the tribunal earlier on today, where the, uh, the presiding judge said, uh, told the governor of Plato State, Governor Lalong, you can't stand in for Tidubu, you know. Well, um, this is serious files on the TV. Please share videos so that drop your comment, make them simple and civil. Well, the presidential election petition court sitting in Abuja on Monday barred Governor Simon Lalong of Plato State from standing before it as the representative of the president elect Ashiwajibola Metinubu. Well, um, when I saw this news, I've been of the opinion, you know, I mean, I saw, I've seen several, you know, um, comments and I'm wondering why the president elect cannot still show up for, you know, this particular show. Um, I feel that um, if just as declared and claimed that he won square and fair and round and op opaque and um, a cylindric and then square and rectangular and triangular, he won in all the shapes. You know, I think that he should be able to show up to. Uh, I don't think we still need a representative for him. You know, I don't know. Uh, just my own opinion that the president elect should be able to. Do we need somebody to stand in for him again and all of that? He knows that the, today this. I mean, they, because they they cannot come out again and come and tell us that oh he was busy doing something. Oh come on, nobody should be above the law for crying out loud. If the law is calling you, if the law of the land says come, then I think. It's behold on, you know, the, the, somebody who is declared, you know, the president-elect or someone who has been, you know, who's, who's, who's going to take over the reins of power of the highest seat of the land in, uh, you know, come May 29, to be able to, you know, I mean, respect the law and all of that. But then it's, it, it sends some fears down our spines, you know, when we still see such things happening. In any case, the Plato State governor had immediately... Uh, the first petition had that was lodged against the outcome of the 2023 presidential election was called up, stood up, and announced himself as Tinubu's representative. My lord, my name is Simon Lalong, and I'm here to represent Tinubu, the governor stated. However, Justice Harunot Samani led a five-member panel, panel that declined to recognize him as Tinubu, Tinubu's representative. Well, they said you cannot represent an individual. Tinubu is not a corporation that would need a representative. The presiding justice held. My lord, in that case, I will represent the All Progressive Congress, you know, APC. Governor Lalong uh, responded. Well, um, I give kudos to the judge, you know, for doing this, you know, but then um, I hope it is not all of those, you know, those first go, you know, when you when you go, you go into a match, you know, and then the, the opponent scores, uh, you know, one go. And then you now begin to feel like, oh, um, you know, I, uh, you know we, have, we have arrived, they already scored. And most of the time, it is now the other set, the other people, the other people who now eventually wins. And they said, ah, but they, these other people scored first. These other people scored first. So it looks like an early goal for, you know, this, uh, I mean, this other side of the uh, petition. So, but I hope and I trust that the judiciary will do their jobs and uh, they will they will follow through to the end just like this. I mean, doing the needful, not bending the rules for anybody regardless of who the fellow is. You know, Ashwaju is president elect, and so he should be able to come and defend and say, you know, if he's to be asked. I mean, yes, might have hired lawyers and senior advocates of Nigeria and all of that. Well. Meanwhile, the court has adjourned for the pre-hearing session on the petition. The Labour Party and its candidate, Peter, will be filed to nullify Tinubu's election victory till Wednesday. The courts equally fixed the same date for another petition by the Action People's Party, APP, while it adjourned the case of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and its candidate, Elijah Tikwabaka, till Tuesday. While adjourning the case, the court urged the parties to identify all the witness statements and documents they would rely on or objects to during uh, the actual hearing of the petition. Among those in court to witness the proceeding included the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi. Well, yeah, he has a case, and so I'm uh, like, you know, the man will always be there. Well, this is Serious Miles on Only TV. Please share your opinions with us, drop your comment, make them simple and civil. Thank you very much for always watching. God bless you.